各位嘉宾就坐。Good morning. We are gathered today together on this day to witness and celebrate the marriage of Emily and Howard. This ceremony is a public affirmation of that bond. And as their dearest family and friends, it is our honor to stand witness to this event. Indeed, it is an honor and a privilege for me to stand here next to Emily and Howard to witness such a precious moment. So how did we all end up here? Of course, destiny is the main culprit. But actually, it was their U.S. citizenship, their love and passion for aviation, and of course, the main ingredient, their love for each other, that has brought Emily and Howard together today. It was just under five years ago that we all met in a beautiful, cold, windowless, cramped classroom in Sacramento's Mather Field. At that time, they have assured me they were just good friends, classmates. But in time, Love cast its magic spell on them, and they are now ready to seal their love for each other and commence their very long dual cross-country flight. Today is a day that you will never forget. I never forget that I have been married for 34 years, two months, 24 days, and counting. This journey that you commence together today will last forever thanks to love, the love for each other. For love is the master key that opens the gates of happiness. But love is not just a word, it's an action. And then every instant of your life, action. Emily and Howard, love like there's no tomorrow. And if tomorrow comes, love again. You are marrying today not because you can live with each other. You are marrying today because you cannot live without each other. So, my dear friends, as Winnie the Pooh once told the earth, if you live to 100, I want to live to be 100 minus one day. So I never have to live a day without you. Hope you all your wishes truly come true, Emily and Howard. Today signifies the creation of a new home and a new family for you both. May you be fulfilled by each other's love and friendship. May you be overjoyed by the promises you are about to make and the life together you will create. Emily and Howard, do you, with your family and friends as your witnesses, present yourselves willingly and of your own accord to be joined in marriage? We do. Yeah. sorrows of life, come what may, and to share the responsibility for growth and enrichment of your life together? We will. Emily and Howard, having heard that it is your intention to be married to each other, I now ask you to declare your marriage vows. Can the best man please present the vows to Emily and Howard? I, 
power to take you, Emily, to be my wife. I promise to love you without reservation, comfort you in times of distress, encourage you to achieve all your goals, laugh with you and cry with you, grow with you in mind and spirit, always be open and honest with you, and cherish you for as long as we both shall live. I, Emily, take you Howard to be my husband. I promise to love you without reservation. Comfort you in times of distress. Encourage you to achieve all of your goals. Laugh with you and cry with you. Grow with you in mind and spirit. Always be open and honest to you. And cherish you for as long as we both should live. From the earliest times, the circle has been the sign of completeness. The rings that you have chosen to wear have neither beginning nor end, much like your love for one another. As you wear these rings, may they be constant reminders of the promises you are making today. Now I ask the best man to give the brides ring to the groom. Howard, place the ring on Emily's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. Best man, now please give the groom ring to the bride. Emily, place the ring on Howard's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. Emily and Howard, from this moment forward, you will never be alone. You will carry with you the love of another person, giving you a completeness and endearing support. As you stand before us, it is our hope that you will go, grow through, go through life loving, trusting, and caring for one another completely and forever. Now it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce